Well, would you believe it? I was literally just about to record an update to my cozy octopus versus ghost spreadsheets uh, to include solar power. And what happens? Octopus goes and announces another tariff. Well, what's that all about? I'll show you. So apparently Octopus have been getting a lot of requests from people who own solar panels and battery storage uh, for a tariff that better suits their needs because already there are tariffs for EV owners, Octopus Go for example, and heat pump owners, uh, Cozy Octopus. And I've done a spreadsheet video to help me calculate whether or not it would be better for me to get um, Octopus Cozy or um, Octopus Go. Um, at the moment I'm on Go and um, the aim of that spreadsheet was to calculate whether or not it would be worth me switching to Cozy. However, they have introduced now a tariff specifically for battery and solar panel um, owners, and it's called Octopus Flex. And uh, they literally only just announced it. So I thought, well, I'll do a very quick video um, just to show you what it's about and um, see if it might be something that's suitable to, uh, to your needs if you happen to own solar panels and battery storage. So I will be adding this into my ridiculous spreadsheet. Um, I can't guarantee it will be super accurate, but I think it'll be worth doing since it's um, something that we are going to get. Uh, we're getting our solar panels and battery storage installed literally in another what another three weeks, I think. Um, so it's going to be relevant to us. Um, so yeah, let's see what it's all about. So it's um, designed to uh, assist um, solar panel and battery storage owners. Uh, that enables them to now export um, at a higher rate than they were before using the sort of standard smart export guarantee. So what does the tariff look like uh, on a half hourly basis? Well, we've got a similar pattern to Octopus Go where we have a cheap overnight period, but this time it's now only limited to three hours. So um, it starts at two and it ends at five. And that um, cheap period is uh, not quite as cheap as Octopus Go, I'll show you in a second, um, but it might be beneficial to do that because it's coupled with um, a more expensive period in the evening from, what's this, four until seven o'clock, where you the import is expensive, but um, the export is also very high. So you can see that um, uh, the export actually goes up above the import rate during the day, which is uh, important because if you've charged your battery up during the day when there's lots of nice uh, sunshine, um, you can then export what you've stored in your battery at uh, a more um, expensive rate, which um, can obviously be beneficial uh, financially. So let's have a look at the actual values of those rates. We've got um, a day rate of 34 pence for import and 23 pence for export. And during that three hour period overnight from two until five o'clock in the morning, the import rate is down at 20 pence. Um, contrast that with um, Octopus Go, which is currently at about 12 pence, I believe. Um, I'm on seven and a half, but um, I fixed that uh, last September, so uh, it was a bit lower at the time. Um, but you can see the, the export rate is now um, down at 9.4 pence, um, as you'd expect. And then you've got this peak period between four and seven, where the import rate goes way up to 47 and a half pence, but the export rate is 36.5 pence per kilowatt hour. So that's crazy. You could um, you know, fill up your battery at, at 20 pence, overnight and then export it at 36 pence. So it, it strikes me that this is a, uh, a sort of money-making machine if you've got a sort of decent sized battery. Um, I mean there are reasons why you, why you may not want to do that. If you cycle your battery a lot then it reduces the, um, the li lifetime of that battery. But even so, th this seems very very interesting and I'm, I'm surprised they're able to offer this sort of, uh, this sort of tariff. So yeah, let's have a, a look at, um, at some of the, the FAQs to see if there are any catches. So now we're on the FAQ page, let's see if there are any gotchas. So what do we need to join Octopus Flux? Well, you need to be a member of Octopus, obviously. Smart meter, pretty standard. Um, a solar system and a maximum generation of nine kilowatt peak. Um, that's okay, my, my export would be seven at the most. Well, the um, my solar array is 7.1 uh, kilowatt peak, but actually, I, um, because I've got an east-west array, um, I reckon I could only um, generate up to about four kilowatts, something in that region, so that's not a problem. Uh, copy the MCS document, that's fine. Confirmation your local energy network was notified of your installation. Uh, yep, that should be fine. Um, if you receive a feed-in tariff payment from Octopus or another supplier, we will need a copy of your microgeneration certificates. Um, okay, I don't think there's anything um, uh, problematic there. I have an electric vehicle, can I still get flux? Yes, you can still join Octopus Flux if you have an electric vehicle, that's good. 
Um, I already have solar and battery, what's next? Well, you can just switch, no problem. Um, will I lose my feed-in tariff? Well, I don't have a feed-in tariff, but I know some people will do. Uh, there is no requirement to switch your feed-in tariff generation contract to Octopus. Um, your payments for energy generation will remain the same. Export tariff, you will need to permanently opt out of deemed export payments, okay. Um, if you receive a fit export payments from a supplier other than Octopus, we will let you know you need to contact them to cancel. Once you've confirmed, we'll switch you to Octopus Flux. Okay, nothing unusual there. Is there a limit on the amount I can export? Uh, there is no limit on the export rate set on our tariff or on your smart meter, and the total electricity you export per month isn't limited. Okay, um, obviously it's limited by your breaker in your house, that's fair. Uh, is it affected by daylight at the same time? Of course. Um, right, well, I don't think there are any gotchas there. I think, unless I've mis mis misunderstood something. So yeah, that's a really interesting tariff, um, something I'm going to investigate a bit more, given that we're getting our solar panels and battery installed in the next couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, I'll be um, adding that to my ridiculous spreadsheet, and um, hopefully I'll make that available as and when I've uh, done that work, because um, obviously I'm going to need to account for different export rates at different times of the day. Um, and honestly, I don't know how quite how I'm going to do that in terms of a sort of daily average, but let's see. Um, I will get on that and I will let you know how I get on. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you found this interesting. I'll see you in the next video.